here we have our fountain 16055 it's a small fountain in fire briquette with a gold bronze faucet the lid is secured there are color pins stainless steel color pins inside this ones are not uh, under tension yet so for demonstration it's easier to get it in and out but with a plier there is no problem to put tension on it you see and then just bend it a bit put it in again and then it's it's way stronger so you can adjust it to your liking so here the water comes out of the faucet fills the lid goes over the rim flows down through the backflow here in the backflow is a stainless steel mesh a sieve with a foam pad inside this foam pad will catch food rests hair bigger stuff So let's switch it on. You have different possibilities to power the pump inside. The pump can be powered by a, by a uh, wall power plug, a low voltage wall power plug. This one is one with a fixed voltage about, this is five volt. Or you can connect it to a variable power supply just plug the different plug in and here you have different settings you can switch it from 3 to 12 volt 3 will not work and 12 I don't recommend 3 because it's too small and 12 because it's too high it shortens the pump life but 4.5, 6, this is a good setting. So I'll demonstrate it. So let's get out the disconnect the 5 volt. Let's connect the variable. Plug it in. So now we have 4.5, 6, 7.5. But now with 7.5, you the pump starts making a slight humming. So I don't like this setting. Six volt is good. There the pump is more or less unhearable and 4.5 is even better. Then your cat doesn't need a strong flow. The water shall tickle out. So she just can lick on it. It's not necessary to shoot their tongue somewhere around. And this would be 3 volt. But with 3 volt, we'll see if we switch it off and on again. Uh, okay, it started now. But usually it won't start with 3 volt. So let's switch it back to 4.5. 4.5 is good. So other possibility to power the pump are batteries. These are 4D cells. 4D cells 4 times 1.5 is 6 volt. You can reduce the power by using just 3 and using one of these copper tubes. Just put the copper tube inside instead of the the battery you can get dummy batteries at eBay but it's easier for me to just use a copper tube so let's demonstrate so instead of plugging it into the power transformer we use 
we use this one. Four point five. So let's get it out. Let's put the fourth battery in. So now six volt. This is a USB battery, Emuto in this case, 20,000 milliamp hour. It's the Emuto X4. There is also an Emuto X6 on the market, not here in the States. I found it in Canada for customers in Canada with 30,000 milliamp hour. So this one lasts approximately five days. Uh, full one, one time, continuous one time, and the Emuto X6 should, if the numbers are comparable, should run approximately seven days with one, with one load. Then you have to recharge it and you can use it again. So instead of connecting the diesel pack, you just, oops, connect this one. Here you see it's 97% still power inside. So you can put this battery somewhere in a corner or hidden so, so that you can't see it. But usually this fountains run with a wall power plug, low voltage wall power plug, 5 volt, same like the battery. But when you don't have a outlet nearby then it's convenient to use a battery or if the grid is down. Okay, so let's switch it back on and let's look inside. So these sieve covers are more or less just for optic. Here is a sieve cover with a foam pad as a pre-filter. You can secure this sieve uh, with a pin, with a stainless steel pin underneath. Just put it underneath and push it through no. and push it through or you can use this sieve cover with a uh, yeah, ceramic knob, put it in and underneath you put the no. You put it through and then it holds and you can't and the cat can't pull it out. But for now we just use this one so that it looks good. The cable comes out here on the back. So let's look inside. Switch it off. Get sieve cover out of the way. Remove the sieve. Pull the cutter pins. Drain the lid, disconnect the 
puts this one slides in here. You see this black marking, the marking goes in here. Then the lid sits stable. So in here is pump and filter. So let's get closer. Okay, now you can see filter and pump. The pump has three suction feet, has a flow control valve. Be sure it's fully open. So, and make sure the suction feet hold the pump on the floor, on the fountain's floor. So, let's look inside the filter. This one is our biofilter. It has uh, a bulk charcoal inside. So, the easiest thing to open is hold the tubing with one finger and then and the housing with the other hand and then just turn it. So and when it's open you can see inside here is a wing. The wing holds the media bag down so that it can't get catched with a with a thread and uh, block all the things. So fold it out, it has a drawstring and here you see the charcoal. So every two to four weeks you should exchange the charcoal for a new batch, rinse it, fill it back in, fold it, put the ring back on, Use a lid and screw the cap back on. You feel a slight when it gets tougher, you feel it. Okay, make sure the pump is still good attached to the floor. Then push the tubing back into the spout and switch it on. So the tubing we use is uh, a beverage grade tubing with uh, silver particles particles uh, embedded in the in the uh, PVC in the vinyl and this silver makes the tubing antimicrobial So here you can see the golden shimmer when the light falls from the wide angle. That's more gold bronze here. 